look at us. We're filming again. Oh my god, it's been so long. I don't know if I can still move the camera around. <laughs> She's crazy. She's crazy. One of the most common questions you get asked um, by people walking into the store is, how big do these guys really grow? I've never seen boy this big. Ah! Uh. Well, today, we're here to answer your most frequently asked questions. We call official ice now. Right now at Jemmy Koi, we have these three koi featured in our indoor tank. This guy right here, super friendly, loves to say hi, loves to eat. And when people come in here, they're usually just blown away by how big these guys are. And I think they, they're floored when they find out that all these fish, they're only four years old. It's funny to think because I had been around koi since I was about five years old. So by the time, by the time we opened the store, I had almost forgotten that it's not normal for fish to get this big so fast. And I think that's a fascinating thing about koi is that they are such colorful fish that just get so massive. But there's a flip side to it. These guys are two years old. Half the age of the fish in our display tank. Definitely less than half the size. Oh, probably about six inches or so. These fish are Japanese koi just the same and they, for the most part, have the same bloodline. Some of them are from the same farm as well. But why is it that these guys didn't grow and those guys just grew massively? A lot of it has to do with how you keep the fish, you know. In this particular case, main factors are the temperature of the water. This tank is indoors and kept in a much cooler space in the store. The water is colder, so their metabolisms aren't going. Thus, we didn't have to feed them as much. So they didn't grow so much. <laughs> Thing that a lot of people ask us is what makes Japanese koi so special or what makes them different and one of the biggest factors of that is just the massive size that Japanese koi can grow to. A lot of people have koi they've had for 10 years and they're only about a foot long in length and they ask how come our fish are four years old and they're already 28 inches long and it just comes down to genetics and environment. And particularly, you'll see like with a lot of the single colored fish, they'll grow much faster than the patterned or multicolored fish. Um, I've seen some single colored fish that are 42, 44 inches in length, whereas the biggest probably patterned koi I've seen is probably about 38 to maybe 39, 40 inches in length. And the single color fish will be, you know, maybe a couple of years younger than the patterned fish. So it really comes down to the genetics that the Japanese have created uh, to be able to push their fish to grow larger and larger and larger because of the highly competitive nature of the breeding in Japan. Like Devin said, the fish grow at different rate and typically with Japanese koi, They've kind of um, refined their bloodlines over several years to really, to really get the ones that have the potential to get bigger. Aside from environment, you also have their bloodline. Case in point, these two fish are from the exact same batch, exactly the same age. But not exactly the same size. In this case, we actually didn't do anything special to keep the disparity in size this large. That's where genetics really does come in, where this bigger fish simply had the genes to get bigger. And mm -hmm. the little guy couldn't compete. Didn't. <laughs> in the same respect though, this, this kind of difference in size, it can be synthesized 
um, with environmental factors. So basically both factors do come into play when it comes to how big these koi grow. Um, despite this though, we have found that even if these two have such a big difference in size, I mean, look at that. That's like... The like, one could eat the other one. Despite this though, it isn't impossible for this little guy to catch up to this big guy, given the right conditions. Yep. Seen it several times. Yeah. Very possible. And even the, guy, the little guys that I showed you that were two years old and yet just so tiny, given the right conditions, they have the potential to catch up. And I think that's the biggest factor with Japanese koi is that, yes, you can keep them small and they can absolutely stay this small, but they also have a very strong potential of becoming big. So in a nutshell, that's a very broad overview of uh, the big and the small of koi. Mm -hmm. In future videos, we'll get into how to actually get them to get that big, but mm. that you don't want them to grow that big that fast. Mm -hmm. There's, there are some things you want to consider yeah. when you're growing them that big. There's little nuances to everything. We're going to go through it all. <laughs> and something that Devin is very passionate about is, is the differences between the small fish buying a small fish and buying a big fish. He's mm -hmm. really excited about that the one. The differences in how they appear and how but, they develop. But for now, bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>